Hi, my name is Dave DeGrassi and I am the System Analyst helping to develop and support the EP10. In this video, I will give you an overview of the keyboard options available. The EP10 is our latest durable PDA and it comes with three keyboard options. The QWERTY, the AZERTY, and the NUMERIC. All keyboard types have hard cap keys and laser etched legends for good visibility and durability out in the field. To ensure a good tactile feel, a dome-based keypad was selected. What this means is that you can feel and hear the keys being engaged. To be sure that the keyboard is visible in all lighting conditions, the keyboard is illuminated with an ultra-white LED backlight. We also take advantage of various sensors to provide automatic backlight control for improved power management. Let's take a closer look at the alphanumeric keyboards first. Here we have the QWERTY keyboard. The Xerity is similar with the exception of the placement of these four keys. You will see in the top two rows we have the SEND and END phone keys, the concave navigation cluster for easy operation, two scan buttons for left or right-handed operation, a Windows key, and a recessed power key. The numeric phone keys are light gray, so they are easily identified. Next we have the numeric keypad, which has a much more traditional phone type layout. The first two rows are the same as the alphanumeric keypads we just reviewed. All secondary functions are accessible by the blue modifier key. Let me show you how this works. Coming back to the QWERTY keyboard, you'll see that the numeric keys are secondary function keys. And to activate them, you will need to press the blue modifier key here. Activating it once will allow you to enter a single character, after which it will become automatically deactivated. By pressing it twice, you will be able to enter multiple characters. Its status is located here in the notification bar. To deactivate it from this state, you will have to press the modifier key once more. The only other special key on this keyboard is the symbol key, located here next to the blue modifier key. By pressing the symbol key, you will activate our fully customizable, finger-friendly SIP keyboard. As you can see, the keyboard takes very little real estate so as not to obstruct your application. The keys are organized in multiple pages, which are accessible by selecting the corresponding arrow keys. The behavior of the symbol key is the same as the blue modifier key in which you can press it once for a single character input or twice to lock it for multi-character input. The status of the SIP keyboard is located here in the notification bar up top. To deactivate it, press it one more time. And that concludes the overview. If you have any questions, feel free to join us at ingenuityworking.com. Hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.